If you missed it all till now, let me help you catch up. JJ Lehman Lounge were three best friends living together at Caltech, where they were recreating a software company. At a party, they met up with Rachel and Charles, old childhood friends of theirs who go to Stanford. Skip to when the company is successful. JJ, the CEO, brings in Rachel, an expert in marketing, to get their name out there more. Did I mention JJ was in love with Rachel since they were kids? Anyways, anyways. One day, she brings her boyfriend, John Wall, into the office and upsets JJ. Yada yada, boyfriend breaks up with her, JJ sits with her, eats ice cream, but nothing really happens there. Maybe it will soon. But here's the thing. The company's actually in the midst of being sued. So JJ brings in Charles to represent them. You know, Charles being a big lawyer and all. But at the first deposition, it all goes wrong, and they're always behind. After doing some digging, JJ realizes that Liam, this supposed financial expert, made a huge mistake. And that's where they're being sued. So JJ fires his best friend and co-founder. A lot of drama, I know. Oh yeah, we haven't even done Lance yet. He's always been one to love his drugs. His latest act being his newly found addiction to cocaine, which landed him getting beat up in the middle of the office for, ev for everybody. Good thing he had a backstory. And yeah, that's all you need to know. Now shh, the show is starting. <laughs> previous month. What do it you was mean? much higher. Wait, are you saying that it wasn't Liam? It wasn't. It was not Liam. So it wasn't. He claimed, let me get to that, he claimed that he had done the calculations just a few weeks before and he knew that those weren't the numbers. So when we checked the, the login history on his computer, I found out that someone had logged into his computer while he wasn't at work. Someone had hacked it. So then after we checked the security, I checked the security cameras, and we saw our old friend John Wall had hacked into the system and had changed uh, the numbers, but not only from last month, from the previous month before. Can we not use this against them? Son of a bitch. Well, that's the thing, we can. So anyways, I also noticed that it took him quite a bit of time just to get that done. So I took another look at the video and noticed on the background of the computer screen that he had done something to the software's database. So that's when it started making sense that you know someone had set us up. And then it also made sense that, that they knew about our codes. And not only about our codes, about our profits. So then I took a second look at the database and compared it to what it was just before he messed around with it. And then thankfully you guys have an external hard drive that I can go look at because I quickly realized that there were many new lines of code that weren't there before. Get to the point, Charles. Okay, fine. The asshole basically copied lines from his company software into our company's what do you mean his company software. He's working for the guys who are suing you. Okay, yeah, like th this guy was a rat. So he basically came in here 
forged the numbers from the profit margin. Then he copied lines of code from his company to yours, and then pinned it on us saying that we copied their code, which is how they were able to sue you guys. So, say so then I told out when this morning in court, when I said all this to the judge, they obviously had nothing to say. Then, to make it worse for them, I, ex I cross-examined John, and obviously it was all caught on tape, so all he could do was admit to it. So then, you know, it was basically done. The judge... So we won. Let me get to the point. After all that, the judge said, and I quote, based on the evidence shown of the tapes where the plaintiff's employee is seen attempting to frame the defendant of copyright infringement, I find the defendant not guilty. So we won. Oh, Shut up. Yes. Oh, Charles, come here, buddy. Oh, thank Charles, Jesus. thank you. I'm I too strong, Charles. Oh, oh, that's oh, why God. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. Oh, come here, Liam. Oh, 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 thank you, Charles. Thank you so much. Okay, Liam. Okay. Yeah. So happy. Oh. Woo! Rachel, Rachel. Okay, let's do it. Oh, oh that was so good. Hey, Liam. Hey. Um, sorry about dragging in you in here after the celebration and everything. Just finalizing a couple of things, you know, paperwork with the judges and Charles and everything, but I think there's something we need to talk about. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know you're my best friend. Yes. You know you're like a brother to me. And I understand if you hate me, and what I did was extremely wrong. Actually, it was a lot more than just wrong. Listen, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Oh, is that it? You're sorry. I didn't mean to. I thought you thought. I thought you just copied. You know everything. what? I thought we were like brothers. Yeah, but the evidence pointed to you. How how am I supposed to look at uh, the the company comes to first? Look past the company that. comes first. You're supposed to look past that. But do you remember when we started this company? What we said? No matter what happens, we're friends. We can't let it get involved in our in our business life. Our company. And I thought it's trust, my baby. And I thought trust came before that. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm trying to. I'm trying to apologize here. You know, you know what I feel like. You know, you're my best friend. But I, I don't know what to say. I, I looked at the computer. I saw your name. I saw your ID password. What do you want me to do? I you saw. Every, I don't think there's anything else that you. you could do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, you should be. Right. Sit down. Let's just end this, okay? It's over. It's in the past. We're done. Fine. All right. Fine. I'm sorry. Brandon, Brandon. Rehired. You know you're rehired. Oh, okay. Well, at, at least. No. I'm sorry, Liam. Fine, whatever. Good for us, good for us. I knew we'd do it all along. I'm so proud. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god! Ah. Man, what a win out there! I knew we could do it all. Shit. What is this? It's How are you doing thing. this? It's a couple months now. Are you kidding me? Get that. We're going. Oh man! No, go. Get out of here. It's actually crazy. No, I know. It's insane. What about the last thing? Sorry to cut our celebration short anymore, but uh, Lance has something he'd like to tell you. What is it, Lance? Tell him, or I will. Lance! potentially bankrupted our company and the first thing you do is go spend your money on something that can potentially kill you your money or our money like where do you get this money from is it our it, money it's my money guys i'm not stealing from the company it's just no, 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 no you probably are where are you getting this money from you don't have my money. money it's my money guys charles do something about this yeah guys. No, no, we have sorry to guys going. guys i'm sorry guys i'm sorry
Whoa. Relax. Charles, what is it? It's Lance. What? What do you mean, Lance? Lance is not... Yeah, uh, before you guys brought him, I see you guys stopped for coffee. This is pathetic. You had one thing to do, and you messed up. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm no, down. Calm do down. Don't give me shit for the... Charles! Come on. There goes another one. Look, while the company is doing great, we're falling apart as a team, okay? This is pathetic. We need to get it together. We have, look, we have bad stuff going on in the news. We need the media on our side, okay? We need the good, the positive press. We didn't do anything. We drove him for coffee. How is that our fault? You had one job. You just had to watch him. And while you're gone for like three minutes, he goes ballistic. Good job.